That's Chris here for IFL TV MTK Global. And with me, I've got Andy Lee. Welcome, Andy. Hi, Chris. Um, good victory for Art tonight, uh, taking him on the 6 0. Um, how would you assess his performance? Okay. Um, give him maybe a C, C minus, or maybe a C plus. But it's in the balance. Yeah. He's a bit too anxious. Eager trying to force a stoppage, took needless risks, and in the end, at, at times got sloppy himself. That's what I thought. Um, but when he boxed well, when he boxed at long range, he showed his class, and I was in, uh, I was happy with the things we had worked on for the last few weeks. We were showing in terms of his defense and his exits, and how to you know trade and move your head in the trades, and how to get out of the trades. Hit, and that's what he did. So I was happy with that. And it's, you know, it's, it might, it's only our first fight together. I'm not sure if I continue because I only agreed to help him out for, for, for this fight. But um, oh, he did very well. And he was class above uh, Gonzalez, um, who was tough. It doesn't usually get stopped by anybody. So he's, a, he's known to go the distance. And carried a bit of threat himself, so I don't, he did well. I give him a C. Even though um, you just said there that you've come in as an individual uh, basis, um, you switched over this year from a fighter over into the coaching element of boxing. Um, how have you found the transition and working under esteemed coaches such as Adam Booth and Emmanuel Stewart? Uh, has has this stood you in good stead, channeling the knowledge that you learned from him leading into the coaching game? Yeah, it's uh, couldn't ask for two better like, mentors, Adam and uh, Emmanuel. Two, 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 to me, the two best guys who ever trained anybody in boxing. Obviously, Freddie Roach, Eddie Futch, it's great training, it's custom island. You know, it's, but if I if I could have asked if they trained with anybody in the history of boxing, it would probably be Adam Booth and Emmanuel Stewart. And uh, yeah, I tried to try and show Eric some things. If not, if it's not even if it's not technique, it's an attitude and some tricks, little things that Emmanuel would have showed me. Just in preparation and mental preparation, but uh, yeah, he's, he took some of it on board and he he showed some of it in the ring, yeah, which is encouraging. Uh, what has 2018 got in store for yourself, or have you not looked that far forward? Um, I don't know. I, I've, I've said it before now, but I guess the window is getting shorter and shorter, smaller and smaller. But I would like to fight again um, if the right challenge presents itself. And um, I'll see what happens. Like, the promoters out there know I'm available, they know I'm willing and ready to fight any of the best fighters. Um, just give me enough notice and uh, enough money, <laughs> and I'll go again. Yeah. Well, Andy, uh, it's good speaking yeah, to you, thanks, and congratulations, part of the coaching thanks, team, yeah. on tonight's victory, nice. and hopefully a prosperous 2018 year. Same to you. Thanks, Chris.